Hey guys, Average Guy Craps here. Uh, this strategy we're going to call Seeking the Triple, and this is going to be putting the Bubble Craps Tracker to the ultimate test. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a sec. Let me give a couple of updates here that I want to talk about. What I'm going to start doing for this is uh, we usually see a strategy rolled and uh, we just give it one shot. And again, to give a strategy a fair shake, we should do it a couple times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rolling. I will show 50 rolls of a strategy that I will play out in real time. At the end of my videos, I will uh, show you the results of five sessions of 50 rolls. So I will show 50 rolls, 100 rolls, 150, 200, and 250 rolls to find out what the result is. So out of five sessions, how well did the session do? So stay tuned to the end of the video and you will be able to see how it fared over five rolls. Now I'm just going to video the first roll and whatever it comes up, it comes up. It win or lose, whatever it's going to be. Uh, but that's what we'll do. That may be an interesting way to uh, uh, do some things and I, I usually you don't see that, but we'll give that a shot. Um, let's see here. The other thing is uh, the tracker history. So if you notice over here, if I put on the history of all 244 rolls that I have banked in the tracker, yeah, um, what you can, what I want to do is I'll start keeping the history and also start showing the history. So uh, the idea is, is my bubble craps machine totally random? Is it really rolling random? Now, if it is, then the statistics over here on the roll history, they should start aligning up in the correct way. We should see the correct distribution of rolls. Now, after 244, we're not bad. The sevens are only two above. Uh, the sixes are a little low. Fives are right on. Fours are in there. I mean, again, I'm seeing a pretty good distribution here. There's nothing I see that is crazy out of whack. And that's, again, it's only 244 rolls, but we'll just keep it going and see what happens. So we'll keep an eye on that and looking at our history um, of how the bubble craft tracker is really rolling random or not. Okay. So I'll go back to the session. This is where we're at. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I just want to remind you that this is a, um, you know, over time. We're always looking for a window of time. So 50 rolls is what I'm going to do. Uh, again, I usually like to play about 100 rolls per session. Uh, get in, get out. The longer you're there, the more variations can happen and changes can happen how it's playing hopefully i'm there at the right time uh, and have picked the right strategy for the right time so let's get on with this strategy um what i'm going to do is for this strategy i'm going to put the bubble crap tracker to the ultimate test you can see over in this window here that after a seven two times an eight's hit two times to five is hit so that's the most frequent roll after a seven and again, I'm tracking each dice independently. I have a green one and a yellow one. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, the top number, whatever's the most frequent, I'm going to put $9 on that number. And then the second number, I'm going to put $3 on. And I'm going to see how often does the tracker really show me that next number. Uh, if one of them's a seven, then I'll probably just take the bet. Uh, maybe I'll just play the top one. Uh, well, if it's a seven, then I'll take all bets off. Uh, and we'll see which one and two is. Um, if it is a um, not a place number, not anything that's on uh, the board here. If it's any a two, three, eleven, or twelve, uh, then I'll play the field uh, just for that number. Um, let's see here. And I think that's everything. Now, just to let you know, I'm rolling very quickly. I have 10 seconds in between each roll. That's really enough time to put the bets up and take them down. I'm assuming you guys know how to play uh, craps, that you guys have seen the strategy, you know what the strategy is, and you just want to see it go through. If it's going too fast and you'd like more explanation in between, hey, man, leave me a message, and I'll do so. Again, if you have any strategies, uh, leave a message, too. We've had some guys with some pretty good ideas. Okay, so again, we're going to do 50 rolls. We're starting at 58 rolls. That's where our shoot, we ended up with a new shooter. So we should be going to 108 rolls. I have a bank roll of 200 and we'll give it a shot. So let's get the, the uh, bubble craps going. First roll is a 5, 5, 10. 
So my tracker tells me that after a five, five, ten, nines and fives are good. So I'm gonna put nine dollars on the nine, three dollars on the five. And I have a four one five. It worked. Alright, so I have that. After a five, we have eights. Oops. And then we have a five one six. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I have the rolls going pretty fast. I can barely keep up there. So the next roll there is a five one six. And uh, so let's see, we gotta go back to our six here. So after a six, we have two fives and one seven. So I tell you what we'll do. We will uh, delete our nine and I will go nine dollars on the six. I'm sorry, the oh boy. I'll go nine dollars on the five and hope we don't lose that. Okay, let's get going again here. Uh, and there's a nine, six, three, nine. So what comes after that? We have a two nines and an eight. So we'll get rid of that. We'll do nine as our big one, eight as our small one. And a three, one, four. So we didn't catch anything there. And sevens and fives. So if it's sevens and fives, I'm gonna just take it all off here and I'm gonna let that do its thing. And we got a 4-4, four, four, hard 8. All right, 4-4. Four, four. So after four, two sevens and two sixes. So I tell you what, let's just put three on the six. See how that does. And seven out. That's what it said. That was our top number. Uh, so the tracker didn't lie to us there. Um, let's see how we go again. So we're even, didn't lose any money. Four, three, seven, four, three, seven. Now I could play on the come out, but so far we won't. After a seven, it says eights and fives, uh, but we'll let it go here. Give it a shot. Oh, it was an eight. So the tracker has not lied so far. We have a six, two, eight. So after an eight, sevens and sixes so let's just put three dollars on the six because sevens are most frequent number after an eight five five ten no harm no foul so after a ten we have fives and nines so let's go to the five for nine dollars and we'll get rid of our six and we'll do three dollars on the nine see what happens there's a hard six. All right, so after a six, we have fives and nines. So again, I have the five and the nine. Same deal. Ace deuce. After an ace deuce, we have a five and a 10. So we'll keep up our five and let's put the three on the 10 and see what happens. Again, this is not the way it's supposed to be used, but we are literally using the tracker on a hard line. Two, six, eight. All right, so right now we're just fishing around. Uh, let's see, sevens and tens. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And I'm only going to put three on the ten because sevens are our top number. And a two, three, five. So we have eights and sixes we need. Eights and sixes. So I'm going to put nine on the eight and three on the six. Come on. And six, six. Now. What you, I have seen, it, you know, there are times we'll get in the groove. So fours and nines, this is really not that great. Um, yeah, let's put nine on the four. Ha, <laughs> we got hard ten. Went the other way. So after ten, again, we have fives and nines. So let's put nine on the five. Says maybe we'll get a point. And three on the nine. Three. 
three, two, five. Boom. We got it. That's what I'm talking about. So three, two, five. So can we do it again? Coming out, roll. Now, after the five was eight and sixes, and again, I could have played it on the come out, uh, but I'm not, uh, I'm not doing that. I just haven't, so I'm not going to do it. So I'm looking at nines and eights. So I'm going to put nine on that, three on, nine on the nine, three on the eight. Four, six, ten. And I know fives and nines again. Uh, so our nine's good. We'll take this to the five. So again, our top two numbers are what we're playing. We are literally playing it. Five, one, six. All right, fives and nines again. So we'll let it ride. Although let's switch again the five to nine and we'll take the uh, uh, nine to three. There's a three five eight. All right, we are fishing. Okay, sevens and tens. So we're gonna take off our. We're just gonna use our three on ten since sevens are the highest number. And there's our seven, just like it said. All right. So if I was actually playing the machine, that would have saved me money because I would have turned my bets off. Um, but here we go with come out roll, eights and fives. And there's a six, three, three, six. So we see after a six, fives and nines. So I'm gonna put nine dollars on the five and three on the nine. We're up, uh, what do we have, nine dollars. Ooh, two, five, seven, all right. That's not fun. Two, five, seven. So we'll take our bets off. We're coming out. See what we get. 82 rolls in. Two, six, eight. And this is sevens and tens. So let's just put $3 on the 10. Uh, again, this is a really choppy table. If you look at the trend right here, we got green, red, green, red, green, red. Really choppy. Four four eight. Four four eight. Okay, right back on it. Oop. All right. Four four eight. So coming out again. Bets are off. Three one four. Now after four, we got eights and sevens. So let's put nine dollars on the eight. Um, let me get my thing up there. Put nine on the eight. And see what happens. Four, two, six. I think after this is fives and nines. Nope, sevens and fives. So I'm going to put nine or just three on the five because seven's the top number. We'll give that a shot. Six, three, nine. All right, nines and eights. So I'm going to put $9 on the 9, $3 on the 8, take away my 5. Uh, let me make sure I got my numbers up here. 6363, six, where are you at? 549, we hit it. Finally hit it. 5, 4. Okay, so we got 9s and 8s. We're going to stick right on it. Same bet. Up $21. 336. So after a 336, we should be playing a 9, 7, and 5. Oof. Uh, let's see. We're going to gamble here because the 7's up there. Um, let's see what happens. 4, 2. Again, same thing. We're up 21, which is good. Nine, seven, and five. Well, we're going to let it ride. We're eight rolls into a six roll median. We'll see what happens. Five, five, ten. So, five, five, ten. Fives, nines, and sixes. Hmm. Let's do nine on the five and three on the nine. How about that? Four, 
And we got the 145. Yay. I like it. That's money. Okay, eights and sixes. So let's go nine on the eight, three on the six. We'll get rid of this money. And three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Didn't hit it, but now we got nines and sixes. So one, two, three. Get rid of that. Still three there. Six five, six five eleven. What comes after that? It says nines and sevens. So let's just play the nine and hope that seven doesn't come. Now we're twelve rolls in, six roll median. Uh, could be coming. Nope, one three four. We survived. Uh, okay, one three four. So we got eights and sevens and sixes. I'll tell you what. We'll play the eight. I don't like it that the sevens are, but we'll play the six too. One, three, four again. All right. Well, I guess we won't move. Shouldn't change anything. So fours, eights, eight, seven, six, fives are all one. So it's all over the board. Uh, yeah. Oh. AC Ducey. After AC Ducey, we have eights and fives. So let's move this to the five. See how we do. Again, it's one, one, and one. We haven't had a lot of this, so not a lot of data there. Four, two, six. Four, two, six. Uh, nines and sevens. Uh, and fives. I'm going to keep it up. We'll see what happens. One, three, four. Wow, back again. So it, most common is after that is a four. Uh, so four is an eight. So let's put nine on the four. Uh, and let's put three on the eight. But it is a come out roll. Shoot. Uh, one, five, six. One, five, six. So nine, sevens, and five. That's all over the place. Let's play the nine. Uh, and let's play the five. And another four. Come on now. So we need to play uh, after sixes and fours. So I'll put nine there, three there, and get rid of these. And that's a two, four, six. Two, four, six. And we should be playing nine, sevens, and fives. Well, we'll go to the nine. The seven's the next number, so let's just take them. Just the nine. Five, two, seven. Somehow it says I've won forty-three dollars. I don't need to pay attention to that, but five, two, seven. Okay. Five, six, eleven. After eleven, nine, sevens, and fives. Stay with the nine. We'll go five. Although this is a come out roll, so it really doesn't matter right now. Four, two, six. So the four, two, six, we should be playing. Ooh, sevens are the highest. I tell you what, I'm going to take all my bets off. Hopefully, we save a seven out. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh, this is 23 rolls. So. 437. It called it. It called it. We just saved us money. That's why the tracker is here. Just saved us money. Aces. All right. Still coming out. We'll see what happens. I think I got about one more roll, actually. We'll see what happens. Um, let's see, we were going to 108. So 6410. 6410. And I think that should be all our rolls. So 
Let's start looking a little bit. Do I have one more roll or are we good? I think that's all our rolls. So that's 50 rolls, okay? So after 50 rolls, here's what we got. We won $43 just by playing what the tracker told us to play after the next number. Now, this would be a hard way to play. It's a literal interpretation of this tracker, not really the way you're supposed to use it, but I find it interesting that it did have a bit of a groove. The biggest thing it did is it saved us a couple of times when the seven came out, it told me get my bets off. That will work. We can always play again. Once you lose your money, you may or may not get it back, but that's what I want to look at. So right now, uh, what I'm going to do is, so here's our results right now. After 50 rolls, 108 rolls, we have $43. I'm going to play this up to 250 and I'll post the results for you and uh, we'll see how we do. So uh, please watch the end of this video and we'll see what we got. Thank you.